Hey guys, and welcome to Xbox On. Now, Ori and the Will of the Wisps is one of my favorite games of E3. It's something really unique and interesting, and it looks absolutely incredible too. So in this video, I'll be demonstrating how Ori will blow you away. Ori's graphics are the best. They're good enough for me to use the word stupendous, and I never use the word stupendous. This area is called the Windswept Wastes, and it's roughly five hours into the game. We can see the new brushstroke based lighting, which looks like a dynamic painting come to life. Everything reacts to Ori. He jumps on a tree and it sways. He walks along a bridge and it moves. These are 4K graphics built on a heavily modified Unity engine. And not only that, but it's Ultra HD with high dynamic range too. Ori is a dream to see and might very well be the best looking game of E3. Ori's not just a looker, but he's got a bunch of moves to let you traverse the environment with ease. The grapple is key, a bit of light that allows Ori to latch onto objects. He can pull himself to higher areas and also swing across hazards. You'll have to watch it though, because some scenery falls away, like dissolving sand walls. Ori's also got a burrow ability to help him dig through sandy surfaces like a little sand dolphin. There's a new element of physicality added to the environment, meaning that branches sag under your weight when you jump on them and leaves blow in the wind. Combining these traversal moves is a joy. Wood of the Wisps has a greater emphasis on combat, and enemies in the game are ferocious, attacking you in new and unpredictable ways. Luckily, you've got fresh attacks to fend them off. For instance, Spirit Edge is a sword that can be used for close-up combat. There's a hammer called Spirit Smash, and Spirit Arc is a bow that can ward off enemies from a distance. Every ability that you use for traversal, like the grappling hook, can also be used in combat. Ori's upgrade system lets you forge your own path. You've got a choice of weapons and magic, and you modify mostly everything. So an example of that would be giving the spirit arc a spread shot. Weapons feel great to fire, with each one having its own unique animation and feedback. And because the weapon wheel is easy to use, it lets you seamlessly switch between all your favorite weapons. You can even switch weapon as you're attacking. Yep, you definitely don't want to get on the bad side of Ori. Next up is side quests, and Will of the Wisps is full of them. NPCs will actually give you loads of cool mini adventures to go on for rewards. An example of this is a big blue bird named Toki asking Ori to help him retrieve a lost needle, which is definitely not something you should do for just anyone. But we trust Toki. You don't have to help him, and the quest is completely optional, but if you do so, you get a reckless spirit shard, which lets Ori deal more damage in exchange for taking more damage as a trade-off. To give you a general idea of what the game's all about, you basically play as Ori, a little guardian spirit who is responsible for watching over the mystical forest of Nibel. Helping him in this is Sane, the light and eyes of the sacred spirit tree. You'll venture beyond the confines of your home, and from there on, it's anyone's guess as to where you'll end up. Who knows, maybe you'll even end up in Brighton. In any case, the developer has confirmed this game is longer than the first, and I can't wait to play it. So there you have it guys, Ori is definitely a contender for the best looking game of E3, and you can find out for yourself when the game launches. There's no release date yet, but keep tuned to Xbox On because we'll be bringing you more on this and every other game you need to play on Xbox. As always, like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye!